Hey everybody, it's Data Cobra and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Blind. So, in the last part, um, well, kind of stuff happened. So, basically what happened was we were continuing on our way with our good friend, or is he? But yeah, at the time we thought he was our friend and we were still looking for a way inside, but in the side, you know, he says, oh, actually, let's stop for now and, you know, go next time because... You know, if we keep continue on, it's gonna look suspicious to the foretellers, and so he just said, you know, why don't we meet this location tomorrow? And so we agreed to do it. But unfortunately, he wasn't there. I mean, rude much? <laughs> Some friend he was. I mean, he even went last night when we were waiting for him. Like, come on. Some friend. <laughs> but thankfully, with some words of encouragement from our good friend, Chirithi, you know, saying he doesn't have any friends, but you know what? We said to him, guess what, Jirithi? We are friends. And we give him a nice big hug. Aw, it was so emotional. <laughs> kind of cute, too. But yeah, after that, we are now back at Alice in Wonderland. And I guess we're helping Alice, you know, help with, you know, I guess help Alice find the White Rabbit. I don't know why, though, but, ugh, you know. But yeah, so that's basically what happened last time. Anything new from our parties? Oh, nope, okay. Alright, so let's continue on, shall we? Alright, which quest number are we at? 381. So we're getting pretty close to Quest 400. And I'm guessing Quest 400 is going to be like a story one or something. Because, I mean, we're getting pretty close to the end, aren't we? I mean, we must be. So yeah, I think maybe, I'm guessing, maybe 10 or 12 more parts will finish this game. I don't know, I'm just guessing. But yeah, I feel like we're making good progress and... Hopefully for this video, we'll make even more good progress. Oh, it's you. I say, how are you getting on? Still looking for Alice? Well, if I were looking for her, and she was looking for a white rabbit, I'd ask the Mad Hatter, in a westerly direction. Oh, I guess we're going to see the Mad Hatter then. I think I kind of remember him from the movie. Like, Disney movie. Not the actual remake live-action movie. No, no, no. Although that Mad Hatter in that movie was kind of cool. I think he was played by... I think the same actor who played Jack Sparrow, if that's correct. I think it's the same guy. I could be wrong. But man, it's been a while since I've seen these Disney movies. It's been quite a while. But yeah, I remember watching these Disney movies as a kid, and some good movies were good, other time movies were just dark and... I don't know, just, you know, dark and stuff. Uh, but those were like the good old days of Disney movies, when Disney could, like, do dark stuff and... It was successful. It, w it was fine. But now it seems nowadays for Disney movies, they seem to be toning it down a bit for like the deaths of villains and stuff. Just because, you know, more kids are watching and apparently they want to make the movies more kid friendly. I mean, still there are some dark themes in the movies, but mostly nowadays, they're just not so dark anymore. Not like back then. So, um, I got some interesting comments from last video. Oh, by the way, yes, once again, my video was cut in half. I don't know why it did it, so I apologize for that. I just don't know why it does it. It doesn't make sense. Why this one game, out of all the games I've ever recorded, this is the game that where it cuts. Why? 
I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense. So yeah, if you guys see any more videos where it's two parts, and you know that the video was cut in half for some reason, and I can't fix it, so I apologize for that. We're just getting like story quest after story quest. Happy on her. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> let me try this again. <clears throat> Happy on. Uh, damn it. Okay, one more time. <clears throat> Happy on birthday to you. There you go. <laughs> Much better. No room, no room. All seats are taken. I can't believe it. Uninvited guests at our un un at our un birthday party. You know, it's very rude to attend a party without being invited. I'll say it's rude. It's very, very rude indeed. Gee, sorry. Oh, but we never get company. Do stay. You must have a cup of tea. Sugar? Well, of course. You can't have tea without sugar. Oh dear, we're out of sugar. Then our guests must bring us some. After all, guests always bring the sugar. Yes, yes, two cups, please. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh, those two are just... Let's just call them unique, shall we? <laughs> oh, jeez. And I don't know why I started right there at the first part. I, I just could not say unhappy birthday for some reason. It's just... I never say that, like, in real life. I always say happy birthday. I never say unbirthday, you know? So, that's why I kind of started with that word. Oh, but where'd they go? I thought they'd be here, but... Eh, whatever. I just want out. <laughs> oh, hold on. Whoops. Wrong way. This way. Nope. What? Oh, there we are. But yeah, so in regards to the comments from my last video, um, I got some interesting comments about our good friend Charity, and apparently, um, there was a symbol on his back, which I did not see until I was pointed out saying, hey, in case you didn't know, there's a symbol on his back, and I was like, huh, really? I didn't see it there, so it's so hard to see, but I did look, and yeah, he does have a symbol on his back. 
which is kind of surprising. Now, at first, I didn't know what it was. And I, when there was a comment saying there was a bunch of theories of what that symbol is. You know, many people guessed about it, and they were not really sure, but... Also, I got a comment from one of you saying that apparently the symbol is the same symbol as the Dream Eaters. Now... I think it might be the Dream Eater symbol, I don't know. It's so hard to tell because it's so small, but... I was told it was the Dream Eater symbol. So unless there was a way to see, see a symbol more clearly, then I would recognize it as a Dream Eater sim- you know... Uh, uh, yeah, symbol. But if that's the case, then is he really a Dream Eater? Then why, though? It doesn't make sense. I mean, I know we were- I know he was created. I think he was made by the Foretellers, or I think the Master of the Foretellers. But why would he make a Dream Eater, then? It doesn't make sense. I mean, Dream Eaters don't even exist until Dream Drop Distance. So, why would he make one, like, in the past? It just doesn't make sense. And here's another thing. If he is a Dream Eater, don't Dream Eaters exist in the worlds that are, in, like, in the Dream State? You know, like, all those worlds that we did in Dream Drop That through <clears throat> Excuse me. All those worlds that we did in Dream Drop Distance? Like, those are sleeping worlds. And the Dream Eaters are, like, the darkness version of the sleeping worlds. So, why would he be a Dream Eater and be here in the real world? It doesn't make sense. So, you see the logic there. Unless... What I was told in Dream Drop Distance was a lie, but Yen Sid telling us that Dream Eaters only exist in the Dream Worlds. So yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know, maybe sometime in the future I'll both see a symbol on his back and I'll see if it's actually if he is a Dream Eater or not. Maybe something else entirely. But for right now, I'm gonna put that theory on hold that he is a Dream Eater because. We need confirmation, because I don't know. I mean, I need some answers and logic. <laughs> you know, if he is a Dream Eater or is he not, I just don't know. I need to see it for myself to confirm it. That's what I'm saying. What's this? Oh, nope. Nuh uh. Sorry. Wait, who is that? Hold on. Oh, it's our buddy! Oh, hey, man. What you doing? Oh, okay. Is this guy giving you trouble? <laughs> wow. Oh man, dude, I would love to help you, but I can't. There's no way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. There's just no way. I'm sorry. Oh, man, I could wish I could help you, dude. I seriously wish I can, but I just can't. So, I'm sorry. But I wish you luck, though, man. I know you can do it. Just don't give up. I believe in you. You can do it.
but yeah, in regards to comments on my last video, that's basically it. Still, like, I don't understand why he would leave us. Like, why? I thought he was our friend. I believed in him and trusted him, but no, he lied. Oh. I can't wait to see my character reacting saying, you know, hey, you lied to me. You told me to meet here, but you didn't. Some friend you are. That is unless, of course, you know, our character learns of what happened. And then we'll get, you know, pissed off at him for leaving us. But I don't know if we will find out the truth, though. Maybe. I mean, it would be kind of interesting to see how our character reacts when they learn, you know, our friend left us. I think we found it. Oh, okay. So I guess it's a cutscene after we finish. Okay. There we go. We're done. All right, do we find some sugar here? Oh, nice, 130. Oh. Oh, it, oh the thumper Miss Bunny from, oh, what was the movie called again? Bambi, yes, right, Bambi. Sugar? Why on the table, naturally? Return to the Mad Hatter with the two cups of sugar. Okay, that was quick. Oh, come on, really? The stupid fish again? Fine, I'll deal with you. There we go. Now get lost. Thank you. 
Oh, delightful. Now we can finally have our tea. Clean up, clean cup, or clean cup, clean cup. Move down, move down. Now, how about some tea? Ah yes, the tea. You must have a cup of tea. Wait just a moment. Isn't today a special day? Why, yes it is. Today is your unbirthday. And it also happens to be my unbirthday. That's right. How silly of me to forget. We simply won't have time to entertain guests. I'm afraid you've outstaged your welcome. Yes, yes. Toodle do. Wow, rude much? Now then, a very happy unbirthday to you. Jeez, rude much? Cheer up, kiddo. Your job is to collect the light and protect the world. This isn't the time to be having a tea party anyway. I know it's hard to think straight in this wacky place, but you have to try. I knew I can count on you. By the way, did you not did you notice anything special about Alice? She's one of the precious lights of the world. You didn't notice? Huh. Well, it doesn't matter. Now you know. She's one of the lights, and you have to protect her. From the darkness. So why don't you go and find Alice? Any idea where she might be? The Cheshire Cat said he has lots of answers? What an odd thing to say. Well, it's worth a try. Jeez, all that hard work and we just get kicked out just like that? Wow. You know what? I hope you two have a very unhappy birthday. You deserve it. I hope your birthday is the worst of them all. You guys suck.
thing. Why not did it why did I get a towel that was cruel? That didn't make sense. Oh, you. Beg pardon? Alice wasn't there? You may have noticed that I'm not all there myself. Oh yes, Alice. Well, she hurriedly scurried and flurried down the shortcut to see the queen. Oh god, not the Queen of Hearts. No! Ugh, no! I hate her. She sucks. She is the worst! Oh my god. Why do I have to see that person? Out of all the people I had to see in this world, it has to be her. Great. Ugh. Oh, this is gonna end well. <laughs> or not. She's probably gonna take our heads off. She's gonna say off with her head and stuff, and we're just gonna, like, oh crap. <laughs> Seriously, someone needs to put her in her place because honestly, just, mm, I would just love to just put her in her place and just teach her some respect because she's just awful. That's all I'm gonna say. So how's our friend doing? How you doing, buddy? Oh, so close, man. So close. Just a little bit more. You got it, man. Keep it up. We planted white roses by mistake. So we're painting the roses red, before we lose our heads. Protect the playing cards from the Heartless while they paint the roses. What? Why are we helping them? They're the bad guys, you could say. Or they're the Queen's minions. Why are we helping them? Ugh, God damn it. But at least the good news is we're in this one area, so at least we don't have to, like, you know, explore so many areas, because this helps save time completing the quest as quickly as possible. Because I want to see if I can get up to quest 400 for this episode, if I can. Or close to it. Although I highly doubt I'm going to make it to quest 400 by this end of this video. I mean, I can try, but I highly doubt it.
Oh, okay. So, that's an unusual weird boss, but whatever. Ah, three wishes keep late, huh? No problemo. There we go. Help! The red roses are attacking! We'll lose our heads if the queen finds out. And of course, we're helping them again. <laughs> Why? We're just getting like, we're just getting like, story quest at the story quest. The queen. Oh god, not now. The prisoner at the bar is charged with malice, a forefront, a forethought, teasing, tormenting, and otherwise annoying Her Majesty. And... Never mind all that. Get to the part where I lose my temper. Thereby causing the queen to lose her temper. Now then, are you ready for your sentence? Oh, but there must be a verdict first. That just isn't the way. Always are... Your ways, your majesty. Yes, my child. Now, off with her. But please, at least tell me what I've done. Well, get on with it. And forcibly open the door and entering Wonderland without. But I didn't open any door. And how did you get in? Well,. There was a bottle on a table, and I drank from it, and... Nonsense! But it's true! Oh, you believe me, don't you? You must have gotten through the door the same way.
Your Majesty, please wait. We have proof. Well then, show me this proof. Quickly. Please hurry before she charges her or she changes her mind. I rather like my head just where it is. Alright, so seems like we're looking for evidence again. <laughs> I mean, didn't we do this before Kingdom Hearts 1? Because I'm pretty sure we did. So basically we're doing the same thing all over again. And you know what? I don't think it's going to make a difference if we find the evidence or not, because she's still going to think that we did it. It's going to try to chop our heads off, so this is kind of pointless. <laughs> I just know it. She's going to think we're lying and stuff, and she's right, and she's going to get pissed off, and then she's going to try and kill us. I mean, come on. You know it's going to happen. Alright, so it seems like we have some more filler stuff to do. That's fine. But hey, look at that, we're co so close to quest 400. We just have nine more quests to do and then we did it, so... Yeah, we're pretty close, guys. So close. I think we might be able to make it if we hurry. Thank you. 
Oh, I think we may have found it. Ah, equip only magic metals? Come on. Eh, yeah, fine. I'll do it. Get it? Yeah, whatever. A trial? How unfortunate. Well, you best take that bottle to the poor girl so she can clear her name. No! God damn it! They're trying to stop and delay us, that's what they're doing. God damn it. Stupid fish. Explain. If you drink from this bottle, you'll grow so small, you won't need to open any doors. Oh dear me. Suspicious. Very suspicious. Read her next crime. There's more? The defendant is also charged with planting white roses in the Queen's garden. Poppycock, I did no such thing. The roses were already. Oh, never mind. Would you please help me sort this out? Okay, so I guess we're gonna kill the flowers. I guess that's our way of proving it. I don't know why though. Oh, 
Ah, crap. Ah, damn it, I thought I could finish him. Oh well, so much for that one turn objective thing. So close to the next level. Oh, we're not done yet? Okay. I thought we would be done already. I mean, what else are we supposed to do now? Are we done? Please? There we go, 131. You defeated all the white roses. Good. Let the queen know that there are no white roses in the garden. Sure, I'll do that. Oh my god, we're still not done yet? Come on. Okay, you know what? Look at the timer for this recording. I think I'll do this one more quest here and then I guess I'll call it, you know, for today because I didn't want to record for too long. You see? There aren't any white roses in the garden. Oh. Oh me, oh my. 
Uh, her next crime. Yes, your majesty. The defendant is also charged with bringing monsters to Wonderland. Monsters? But how could I... Oh, it's no use. There's no one here who can prove my innocence. Find a witness to prove Alice's innocence. Who? The Cheshire Cat? I don't know if he'll help. He's a riddle. I'm pretty sure he won't help. Done. All right, please let this be the last one. Okay, I'm getting tired of this. I mean, how many more proof do we need? I'm pretty sure we got enough. Oh my God, we're not even done yet. No. God damn it! <sighs> Alright, how's our friend doing? You get him yet? Ah, oh, no? Huh. I thought you would have finished him by now. Well, <laughs> anyway, good luck, dude. But yeah, I think I'm gonna cut this video right here. I think we've recorded long enough, but look at that 396. We're so close to Quest 400. And then once we do 400, and I think there's 500, and then 600, and then 615. Is it the last, last quest that's been updated so far? You know, based on my knowledge, so... Yeah, we're almost there, guys. We're close to being this game. Just, I would say we're halfway, you could say. But, yeah. So, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and comment as well. And next time, we shall... Hopefully finish with this stupid trial and just leave this place because I'm just getting tired. I just want to do something new, you know? So, yeah, hopefully next video or next part that we do will be done and yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, this has been Hesitated Cobra here and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.